So now on to the dinosaur of the day, which is Coelurus. And the name Coelurus means hollow tail. It has hollow tail vertebrae. There's only one valid species. It's the type species, Coelurus fragilis, which Charles Marsh described in 1879. And the type species consisted of a partial skeleton, most of the arms and legs, and a partial pelvis. And that skeleton is now housed in the Peabody Museum of Natural History, and it was found in the Morrison Formation. In 1980, more bones were found in Wyoming and Utah, and Coelurus was the first named small theropod from the Morrison Formation. Charles Marsh only described the vertebrae from the back and tail, and it was found in the same area as the type specimen of another genus slash species that he named, Camptonotus dispar, which was later renamed Camptosaurus because the name Camptonotus was already used to describe a type of cricket. Marsh describes Coelurus as, quote, an animal about as large as a wolf and probably carnivorous, end quote, though he was not sure that it was a dinosaur at first. He described it more in 1881 and created some illustrations and then classified it in the new order Coeluria and the family Coeluridae. There's a lot of confusion and different species have been named and moved out of this genus, as is pretty typical for dinosaurs that were named so early on. And Coelurus has been grouped with Compsognathids, Tyrannosaurids, and even as basal Manoraptorans. Sometimes it's considered its own family, Coeluridae. For a while, Coeluridae and Coelurosauria were wastebasket taxons for small theropods. Coelurus fragilis's skeleton was scattered, and the fossils were found between September 1879 and September 1880. Some of the bones found Marsh classified as a new species— Coelurus agilis, based on fused pubic bones that he believed were part of an animal three times larger than Coelurus fragilis. In 1888, Marsh also named Coelurus gracilis, based on a single claw bone from a small theropod that lived in the early Cretaceous. It was found in Maryland. This is no longer accepted, though. Edward Cope also named some species in Coelurus, even with the bone wars going on between him and Marsh. He named Coelurus bari and Coelurus longicolis. They're both from the Triassic period and found in New Mexico, but then he ended up putting them in their own genus, Coelophysis. In 1903, Henry Fairfield Osborne named Ornitholestes based on a partial skeleton, and in 1920, Charles Gilmore said that Ornitholestes and Coelurus were synonyms, which scientists believed until 1980 when John Ostrom released his study. And Ostrom showed the differences between Ornitholestes and Coelurus, and he showed that Coelurus fragilis and Coelurus agilis were the same, as Gilmore had thought. Dale Russell had thought that Coelurus agilis was a species of Elaphrosaurus, based on incomplete information, but John Ostrom showed that this wasn't true. And he also showed that one of the three Coelurus fragilis vertebrae Marsh had illustrated was a composite of two vertebrae. Coelurus is also sometimes confused with Tenicolagrius. Coelurus ornitholestes and Tenicolagrius were the best-known small theropods from the Morris information, but Coelurus and ornitholestes have been better described. Coelurus had a longer back and neck and longer, more slender legs and feet than Ornitholestes. In 1995, a partial skeleton in the Morrison Formation was thought to be Coelurus, but a study showed that it was a different genus, Tanicolagrius. So bringing that back, six species have been named to Coelurus, although again, oh, there's only one valid species now. In addition to Coelurus bari and Coelurus longicolis, there was Coelurus davisi, which Richard Lidecker named in 1888 based on a neck vertebrae found in England, but that was later named its own genus, the Cocoelurus. And as I mentioned earlier, there was Coelurus gracilis, named in 1888, which was based on limb remains, but then Gilmore reviewed the species in 1920 and only found a single claw and proposed it was actually Chirostenodes, but this is now considered dubious. When Ornithilestes was considered synonymous to Coelurus, its type species was named Coelurus hermani. So that's just a background of how confusing it can all be <laughs> with dinosaur names. But to recap, there is only one valid Coelurus species, and that is Coelurus fragilis. Coelurus lived in the Jurassic. It was small and bipedal and had long legs, so it was probably fast. And its speed was... its defense from larger theropods. It was around 29 to 44 pounds, or 13 to 20 kilograms, and about 7.9 feet, or 2.4 meters long. And it was a carnivore. It ate small prey, probably insects, mammals, and lizards, 
and was faster than Ornitholestes. It had a long neck and a potentially slender skull, but not much is known about the skull except for part of the lower jaw, which is found in the same area as known Silurus bones and has some similarities, but it's very slender and it's not part of the same known for sure Silurus skeleton. It had long, low vertebrae. Its neck vertebrae had also many hollow spaces, hence its name. And where it was found in the Morris Information, at the time, the Morris Information was semi-arid with flat floodplains, and vegetation included conifers and ferns. Other dinosaurs found in the area include Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, and Stegosaurus. Celurus is part of the Celuridae family, and that's a family of small carnivorous dinosaurs that lived in the Jurassic. In 2003, O.W.M. Rahut grouped Celurus compsognathus sinosauroteryx and an unnamed compsognathus-like dinosaur into Celuridae. And then in 2007, Phil Center suggested that Celurus and Tanicolagrius were the only Celurids and were actually not Celurids, but Tyrannosauroids. Again, Celurids were a wastebasket taxon for a while. Dinosaurs that were in the wastebasket taxon and since reclassified include Microvenator, which is a relative of Oviraptorid. Celurosauria includes other theropod groups now, including Alvarezsaurs, Ornithomimosaurs, Therizinosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, and Tyrannosaurs, though at first they only included small theropods. And there's still a lot of questions over how the Silurus genus is related to the others. <laughs> 